All right, hello everyone again. Uh, I'm going to create a new tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be using the uh, StarCraft Editor version 1.0.3. All right. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering uh, creating a unit when the button is clicked. Uh, in the last tutorial, uh, I, we actually created a button, but it didn't do anything. This time, we're going to make that button do something. Um, we are going to use the action definition to create a button from that last tutorial. So if you didn't do that or you don't know how to create a button, uh, you might want to look at that. So, all right, I already have my map pulled up, and there it is. So a little bit, and then here's my triggers. Uh, I created two folders, actions and triggers. I'm going to try to keep things more organized. Um, once you start to get bigger maps, uh, you don't want things to get cluttered. Lots of triggers, lots of actions, lots of variables, stuff like that. I'm going to try to keep those more organized. That way it'll be easier down the road. Underneath actions, I have the uh, create a button action that we created uh, in the last tutorial. So nothing new there. And uh, I just renamed it uh, the button text to spawn a unit. So good there. Alright, let's get started here. We're going to create two triggers. One is named create a button. The other is named spawn a unit on click. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, just over here. Let's see. Alright. Create a button. And the next one is spawn a unit on click. There we go. Let's see what we're going to do now. Alright. Uh, the trigger create a button. We're going to set uh, the event to map initialization. Let's go here. Should it's already there for me. If not, just scroll down to the ilms. You'll see map initialization is the first one right there. Okay. All right. Next, we're gonna add the action definition we created in the last tutorial. If you didn't do that, we're gonna make a new button. So you just hit, you need to go back look at how to make a new button. Uh, and that's what you'll need to do right here. And I'm just going to add in the action definition. If you created it, I've got it right here. So it's in general. And you'll see it right there in the options. And there we go. We created the action. And we have our new action definition right there. That's all we need to do in this one. Next, uh, in the trigger spawn unit on click, we're going to set the event to dialog item is used. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's our uh, spawning unit on click trigger, the event. And if you go down to dialog, there's dialog item is used. And you can just double click on event and it'll bring that up for you. Or you can right click, go down, and new event. Here we go. Okay, next we're going to create an action to create one void ray in the center of the map. So let's do that. Here's our actions. You can double click on it or you can click this button right here which is new action. And we're going to go down and to create a unit you go to unit, scroll down to the C's and you want to create a unit with default facing right there. Press OK. Alright down here we got create one. That's what we want. Unit. Uh, let's go ahead and pick void ray. What you do is you click on the unit right there. It'll come up and you have your campaign. Just leave it on all. Click Protoss and unit and this should be on value just in case you're not seeing what what's displayed here. Should be on uh, value all Protoss unit. You should have void ray right there and click OK. Alright. So create one void ray for player one and that's what we want. That's going to be us at point click on point, go to function, and what we want to do here is we want center of the region, or center of region. Click OK. Alright, you notice region is still uh, red, so click on it. Go back to function, and you want the entire map. So it's going to create one void ray for player one at the center of the entire map. And leave it uh, using default facing, and we want no options. So we're done there. See what's next. All right. Next, we're going to destroy all dialogs. That way, once our button's pressed, 
the void rays created. We're going to get rid of that so we can see the void ray and mess around with it. Plus, another thing that does is that keeps the user or player one from just clicking your button over and over and over and just creating tons of void rays. So, we don't want to do that. We just want to create one, get that out of the way, that way we can see it's done. So, just new action, go down to dialogue, and look for destroy, and we got destroy right here. And you know, so we have destroy all dialogue items, destroy uh, all dialogues, destroy dialogue, and destroy dialogue item. Um, I've found that destroying dialogue just doesn't work in this case. I'm not sure why, but destroying all dialogues will get rid of it since we don't want anything up. That's what we're going to do. So destroy all dialogues. Press OK. And we're done. We went through these steps. Now let's go ahead and run our map. All right. Here we go. As you can see, I've got a fairly small map. No units created. Nothing on the screen except our button. Go ahead and press it. And there's our void ray. Sorry, that was kind of loud. There's a void ray right there. And our dialogue box is gone. Okay. That was uh, creating a unit with a when a button is clicked. Hope you all enjoyed this. Any questions, comments, suggestions, requests, anything like that, just go ahead and post them um, uh, on this video or uh, on my channel. Or you can also post them on the f uh, form post in the uh, official StarCraft uh, uh, two forms underneath uh, custom maps. Alright, thank y'all, and y'all have a good day. Happy playing.